Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me. For today's video I thought we'd take the highly original concept of basing a makeup look around St Patrick's Day and run with it because I really want to do a green look, haven't done one for ages, just seemed the perfect opportunity. So I'm also going to give the first outing to this palette which is the Blood Money palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I've had this one in my collection a long time, just not used it, and I really want to. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup look. So guys, I bought the Blood Money palette when it came out. Just didn't use it on my channel for all the reasons everyone knows about. But I'm just done with that now. I just want to use my makeup. So we're going to be using this today. If you're not familiar with the colours, it's a really beautiful monochromatic green palette. So perfect for what I've got planned for today. There's some neutrals in there as well but we're going to be sticking to the top two rows more so where all the greens are, particularly liking the look of this one so we're definitely going to have to have that in the look somewhere. But before we do the eye look just going to quickly do cheeks together and I thought I need a neutral kind of peachy blush for a green look, I think that always looks really nice. I'm going to use one of the Alva Fruit Blushers from Odin's Eye, not used these for a while, so this one's in the shade Ripe Papaya, but it is a very peachy tone, so I think it's what I'm looking for. And I want quite a peachy, blushy tone to my cheeks today, probably a little bit on the nose as well. This is such a pretty blush colour for my kind of skin tone, or probably lighter even than me. Glowy and beautiful, just really, really stunning blush. I love blush though, as you guys know. And I wanted to do cheeks together for another reason, because I wanted to use another Jeffree Star product. This is one of the Supreme Frost that it's in the shade Many Honey, and it's a beautiful duochrome highlighter. It's yeah, it's got sort of peach to, to green reflex in there. Really, really pretty. It's similar-ish to Laser Glazer by Kaleidos, if you have that. I know that's discontinued as well. I did think about using that and I thought, let's just run with the Jeffree Star theme today and use some of my Jeffree Star products, which I never get to, to really use and just want to. So this has a like a light frosting of, of green on your cheeks, but it's more wearable than you might might think. It's not not crazy. Like it's got a transparent sort of base to it, but really, really shiny and pretty, and then it just picks up those green reflex in the light. I adored this one when it came out. I bought this one in Hyperthermia when these first came out, this Supreme Frost line. I've got a lot of the skin frost as well but I do prefer the supreme frost or the extreme frost. I think they're so pretty. Okay we're going to prime today with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I think I'm going to keep the, the look reasonably straightforward today. I've been doing a few more intricate things in the last couple of videos that I've done. I'm filming this one before work as well so I haven't got too much time to mess about. I've got to get the whole thing filmed in three quarters of an hour but really wanted to get a green look done for St Patrick's Day. I don't think I've done that since the first year I had my channel. I think I used the Juvia's Place Try palette for that video from memory, which is an awesome palette. Could have quite easily used that one again, but I just wanted to use this one. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to keep things quite light in tone. I'm going to do a halo eye. I'm going to use these two shimmers, but I think I'm going to start with this matte in the crease, which is called Chameleon Fetish. And it's a light, very lime sort of colour. And I'm going to put it pretty much liberally through the crease. It's kind of like a transition shade. Reminds me of the tones in that new lime collection that Colourpop have just brought out. That was a pretty collection, but not much depth in that one, was there? But really, really pretty tones. That's a nice colour. It's not showing up like tremendously pigmented though. But it will give us a start to the look. As I say, I think I'm going to do something like a halo eye, so it's often a little bit easier to start with the lightest colour first for that for me. 
So to deepen up in the inner and outer corners, I'm going to go in with this one which is Crocodile Tears. I'm just going to pack that on in the inner and outer. Mainly because I want to use that Emerald Estate Shimmer and I need something to blend that into. So I'm just packing this on at the moment, not looking to blend it out or anything. To take it a little bit above my natural crease line so that you can see it when my eyes are open. Same colour, Crocodile Tears in my inner corner as well. So it's not a hugely pigmented green but actually it makes it a bit easier for a halo so it doesn't kind of run away with itself too quickly because that's what happens in my inner corners if I'm not careful. Beautiful tones though. I don't like to join up my halo eyes but what I'm going to do now just work on just softening these edges. So I'm adding a little bit more product just on the very tip of the brush. Circular motions just to soften these edges and just kind of blend them a little bit into that original matte shade, the chameleon fetish shade that we laid down initially. I normally always go in with a much deeper shade than this for a halo eye but I actually quite like the lightness in tone for this one. I'm just going to dip back into chameleon fetish just to further smoke up the edges. I'm losing a lot of this pigment. I'm not a fan of this, this crocodile tears shade, I'm having to really pack that on. Okay, something along those lines. So now I'm going in my NYX Glitter Primer and just covering the centre area of the lid. I'm going a little bit over the, the green in the inner and outer corner and a little bit into my crease as well. Now I'm going to dip into Emerald Estate, this one here. I'm going to put that either side of the, the halo. So I'm just using a little smudge brush to apply this shade. And then for the centre of the lids I'm going to take Poison Ivy. I'm going to pack that all the way through the centre and slightly up into my crease as well. And I'm going to take a Linda Havoc 303 because it's quite a stiff brush and use that to blend that shimmer up into the crease. going to go in with a bit more crocodile tears. I don't know if you can see but we've got quite a bit of patchiness in this outer corner. It just hasn't stuck the way that I would want it to. They don't seem to be layering particularly well. Yeah, not my favourite how these are turning out but I like the tone. So for my lower lash line I'm going to go in with Calm Mood by LH Cosmetics, Linda Halberg. I'm also taking that slightly onto my lower lash line as well. going to take the chameleon fetish shade that we started with and run that along the lower lash line. I think we've lost some of that in the look so I'm going to intensify that just on the, the upper brow bone area here as well. It's quite a light colour, I think a white base would have helped this one out. It's a very white base sort of green but it's pretty. For my inner corners, I'm going to go in with Many Heists, this one here. That's a really pretty shade. It's going to bring that down a little further than you might do for a inner corner highlight. It looks like little glittery tears. It's really pretty. Okay, so that's the eye look right now. Just going to hop off camera for some finishing touches and I'll be back with you with the completed look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it looks really pretty now it's finished, but it was a real struggle to get there, not gonna lie. That shade, Crocodile Tears, that one there, oh, it's just rubbish. It just would not stick to my eyes. It just, there was patchy holes in it, kind of. So I was packing a bit more on to try and save it and more was just coming off. It just wouldn't layer on itself. And I've not come across that with a Jeffree Star shadow before. 
and it's surprising actually because I usually use the MAC paint pot with most shadows unless they're neons or if they're a pastel shade and I would have expected it to have worked over that because most things do so I think we've got a problem with that shadow really I, I just don't think that's good quality at all the shade chameleon fetish this one here is a pastel it took a bit of building up but it is really pretty and it's a gorgeous tone actually the two shimmers were beautiful no problem with those but yeah it's just that one matte really at the moment I need to play with this palette a bit more to form a proper opinion of it but based on that one I've never come across a shadow by Jeffree Star that performed like that so yeah very strange Unless I'm just not on my A game today, I don't know. But I tried every trick I could think of to get that shadow to pack on. Tried several different brushes. No, it just, just wasn't good. So to save the look, because I really need to do something with that outer corner, I've gone in with a Melt Gel Liner. This one is Fortuna. These I can totally recommend. This is fantastic. I bought quite a lot of these gel liners, but this one is probably one of the oldest in my collection. It came out with the Amore Eterno collection. So I think it's about two and a half years old now and it's still just as creamy as when I bought it. It's fantastic. So highly, highly recommend these if you like gel liner. And I just used a wing liner brush, plenty of patience to try and get it to, to be as sharp as I could. And it's quite a, a fat wing, but not too massive a wing today. Tried to keep things a little bit more tame. I really like how it looks. I think it's added to the look a lot. And then for lips today, I've gone in with an old favourite. This is by Melt as well. This is the shade Old Fashioned. It's got, a, it's brown, but it's kind of got that seaweedy kind of tone to it. It's hard to describe. It's very unique and always looks flattering with a green eyeshadow look. So that's why I busted that one out. So yeah, it wasn't that fun to create this one, I have to say. I had to struggle to, to do it, but but yeah, really like how it turned out. If you're going to recreate something similar, I think, as I say, the Colourpop collection that's just come out, the lime one, can't remember what it's called, but no, there is one with lime kind of shades in it. Even maybe the Wild Greens from Urban Decay could do something similar. If you've got the Pistachio palette from BH Cosmetics from the Sweet Shop palettes, any of those you'd be able to create a similar look to this so I hope it's in some way inspiring and useful if you're looking to create a green look for St Patrick's Day so thank you so much for watching guys if you're new to my channel I hope you might consider subscribing before you go there's lots of tutorials and content with older palettes on my channel I try to focus a lot more on that rather than showing you all the new things so if that appeals to you I think you might like my content but just everybody, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. It really is so much appreciated. Hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.